Hi folks, welcome to another edition of Jason Mariner. It's only a game where we talk to the legend that is Jason Mariner who's over in Thailand and uh, we answer subscriber questions and we're going to be uh, answering them on Jason's channel and then moving over to my channel halfway through. So Jason, there you are. How are you? Good as gold, Liam. Thank you very much, my mate. Good as gold. Yourself? Yeah, all right. All right. You look well. So before we start the subscriber questions, I thought I'd ask you, what, uh, did you have a chance to see the fight? Liam, I did, but I was plugged in. It was it was like five o'clock in the morning here or something, and I'd be like, yeah. Uh, so I caught, uh, I caught a bit of it. Listen, I'll be honest with you. I'll, I've been out since three o'clock in the afternoon, so I don't really remember. I'll never see him having the tantrum afterwards and all that, because when he won it, which I, I just turned it off and thought, well, it's enough for me, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, you know, well, it's well, a bit like watching football. It's a bit like watching football, Liam. Um, you know, going down the pub, you go and watch, you go and watch the football. You don't watch the football at all. You talk to your mates. You're in and out of the toilet. You're talking thing. You've all got an opinion and you ain't even watched the game. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. I didn't watch it live, folks, obviously, because I don't have a TV license. I watched the rerun. Um, and to be honest, I fell asleep during the first few rounds. I found it a bit dull. Last three or four rounds were quite good. So did you have a chance to see the catch up, the rant? I've just seen the, 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 the jokes, the WhatsApp. I'm not really interested in it. Listen, I'm no. not, not listen. There's something about Anthony Joshua that I just can't get into. I don't, I don't know what it is, but he's it, it, not for me. I think he, I think it was when he said he didn't want us to shop in our own shop. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that turned me off uh, right. uh, a big time. So, uh, so we're not going to talk about it. Turned a lot of people off, mate. Yeah. Turned yeah. a lot of people off. Yeah, because why should we watch? Why should we buy? Whatever. So, right. And then, uh, yeah. and then, and then he wanted his clothing brand in, in our shops. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm with you all the way. I'm with you all the way. Right now, on to subscriber questions. Uh, Matthew Adams, does Jason ever recall a famous Chelsea hooligan called Lefty who notoriously only had a left arm? Is that for real? Yeah, he's talking about he's talking about Dave. Yeah, he's talking about Babs. I've got, yeah. Did, did, did he have one arm? Yeah. <laughs> the clue was there, Liam. The clue was there, my old cousin. <laughs> that's, how, that's how out of... 80 million people, I pick Babs. <laughs> right, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's talking about Babs, yeah. So how did he Still get goes. On? Babs still goes. Oh, really? Babs still goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How did he get on being a hooligan then with one arm? Did it... You know, no, I mean... He could have a rep. Don't worry about that, mate. He could have a yeah. rep. Don't, don't worry about it. Very well known. He was well known for fucking getting amongst it. Really? And thing, but he, he, I mean, he's been out of here a long, long time. He goes and watches a game of football now. Do you know what I mean? Okay. You know, he must be, he must be 65. I bet, I bet, I bet he's, I don't know, he's, he's 65, 67 maybe now or something. 60, really? You know what I mean? Maybe a little bit older. Look well for his age. Yeah, he's all right. Dave, yeah, he's brand new, yeah. Still got one arm? No, they showed one arm, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> No disrespect. <laughs> he woke up one morning, he woke up one morning and now he's got three. What do you expect? Yeah, of course he's got one arm. <laughs> well, good luck to him. <laughs> well, fantastic. I'm only taking a move. Right. Um, Silly Sausage said, who was that clown you had on with you last week? <laughs> That's a bit unfair. That's a bit unfair, isn't it? He's talking about Chelsea Knoll. Uh, he's a good man, Chelsea Knoll. He's a, he's a nice guy. He does a lot of work for charity. He does club KO. So a bit a bit unfair that wasn't it? You know. So um, well, you shouldn't have read it out then, should you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reflecting what the people want to. You know what they want to no, say. Yeah. No. Fair enough. Yeah. You know, Listen, uh, and also, and also, to, you know, in, in, in Noel's defence. You know, I don't think he does uh, much in front of a camera or, no. or talking live or this, that and the other or whatever. Do you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. you know, it's just, it's, it's a, um, you know, it's a different bit of territory for him. Do you know what I mean? So some people like don't ain't used to it or whatever. Yeah, exactly. He's a, he's a good man. And now some people are saying we need to get guests on. Uh, we're not sure about that. We don't know about that. Uh, Bruce Duffett said, we need the Brothers Grimm on. Bring on the Brimsons. That will be entertaining. Well, they're not the Brothers Grimm, mate. Let me tell you. The, 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 the Brothers Grimm are a proper, proper 
family out of a certain area mm-hmm. who, are, who are notorious for, anyway, they, 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 I know I'm very well there, but I don't think they're brothers grim, do you? I mean, they've no. written a couple of books, you know what I mean? And they was and they go to Watford, mate, leave me alone, will you, please? <laughs> you know. So yeah. we're gonna we're gonna have a think about all of that. We don't know yet. That's it. Well, it's not so much that it's, it's the, the, the the conversation I had with you, Liam. Was, yeah, it, it becomes a lot more a lot more work for you to do. It's hard enough getting you up and doing what we got to do. Is it? You know, you've got enough of your own personal work as well. Yeah, I've got a life over here. Blah blah blah. We've got to catch up with these and what have you. So maybe maybe we might do like once a month or something. I don't know, yes. but we'll discuss that. And if, if we do it, we do it. If we don't, we don't. But listen, you know, sometimes if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Do you know what I mean? But it's just. Is it with the time difference with everything, it becomes a lot harder, and, and also like with your editing, it becomes a lot more work for you. So you know, yeah. it's easy for me. It's yeah, yeah, me. We'll, we'll have a think about it. We'll have a think about it. So, um, right. Oh, right. Okay. Someone's having. A, someone's made a suggestion here. Uh, to Rotty, who's uh, he, he's uh, on the channel quite a bit, he's a good lad. He said he's suggesting that uh, I do a 10 round charity fight with Dave Courtney. So, uh, I'm not sure about that, Rotty. What do you think, Jason? Well, it'll be pretty hard in a minute. He's on his way to Ukraine, isn't he, Dave? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In actual fact, we were going to have a charity fight, but because of his charity work, he, he, he headed off to Ukraine, couldn't do it, couldn't do it. So, you know. I think I think Dave was Andy, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Andy. It was Andy. <laughs> was Andy. Otherwise, I'd have Listen, gone back. Listen, he probably he probably say he probably say he don't want to do it nowadays. No, you know, it's a bit. You know, yeah. we're, we're all old men now. We're all old men. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you, you're right. Right now, do you want another one from Sanjay, or do you think that he's a fantasy figure? Well, we know he's a fantasy figure. Oh, um, Sanjay ain't a real person. Stand on me on my hamster's back legs. Yeah. Sanjay is not a real person. Yeah, I think he's the bloke who had another name who used to write in here saying that you were going to train him. I think that's who he is. I think he's just switched Probably his name. You're, you're doing a lot more thinking than me. I forgot about Sanji until you just mentioned him. Oh. <laughs> Do you want me to read what he says? I just blame, if, it, if it pleases the Panthers, let's have it. I don't oh, care. If you know oh. me, I don't care. All right, this is Sanjay's latest version. Hi, Jason. You did actually end up grassing on me to your designated officer and yeah, shown I'm him. Here now. I've been busy in Wandsworth. That's what I can tell you. Go on, mate. Yeah. Uh, and shown in the marks all over your boat race after my repeated flurry of glorious spinning elbows and head kicks. I ended up in the seg for 30 days, Cosvit. But I got a note passed up to the wing from my seg cell telling my boys to kettle Jason with hot water and sugar, and they did. The man's insane, isn't he? That's it. Deluded, mate. Let me tell you one thing. You know when you're in the you know when you're in the nutmeg? Yeah. Let me tell you, when you're in a karaoke, when you're in that charity, right? You ain't seeing no other prisoner. So he ain't getting no note to anyone. He's never been there, I can assure you. And now let me tell you. I'd done something a lot less. I put it on a screw once, blah, blah, blah. This was in another nick and another sentence, blah, 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 yeah. whatever. It's irrelevant. I was down there for a lot longer than 30 days. If he'd on me at this. And also, you don't get put back on the landing. You get shipped out. Where did he get shipped out to? He doesn't he's say. Boring, but get no course he didn't say because he's he's gone and he's on more crack than bricks than high street. <laughs> Listen, it never... It, I mean, I, it, I've been busy in one hour. I've been busy. I've like, run out of ink in my statement. <laughs> one minute I don't come out me, Peter. And then I've run out of ink in my statement. <laughs> I've been grassing people. Then this thing, everything. he's only done 30 days. He's managed to get a note, a letter, a note, to someone that's put it up on normal location. Out of all the five, four, six wings there, he's happened to find someone that's on my wing. But it's amazing, that. And he's managed to... Let me tell you one thing. You know, when you're in... It's, Called segregation, Liam. Just right. letting you know, segregation for a reason. Yes, right? you're segregated. <laughs> the clothes there, my old cousin. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. You, you, you get when you have a shower, you get in the David Gower, bump you on your own. Yeah. Simple as that. When you get food, the food comes to your door, and you're at the back of it. When they put hot water down, they put it at the front of your door, and you're at the food. Blue mattress, mate. I've had it all. I've had the blue mattress in the, on the. On the on the floor, no bed. The one bit of writing paper a week, one phone call a week, change of uh, one shower three, every three or four days. 
exercise you'll get maybe at half past eight in the morning. On your own, Liam, segregation. Is that what segregation means, Jason? You're on your own? I don't know. I'm not too sure, but ask our pal Sage. Yeah. So, I mean, he's really (laughs) done you good here. The spinning elbows, the head kicks, uh, the hot water and sugar. Blimey, you you must have come out of there really injured. I know the Mars bars. I mean, because what happens is when you put hot hot sugar with hot water and they throw it, and obviously it sticks. As you can see, I'm covered in Mars bars from the the boiling water. And obviously... You know, a tin of tuna, because let's have it right, a tin of tuna. Oh, I, mean, I forgot the tin of tuna. Yes, I forgot that. The let's have it right, though. I, I would have had, I would have had the, I would have had the, the deer gear. He probably had to use the council one, like, you know, the cheap kept prison one. But, <laughs> but what, don't forget that's gone in the sock. Now, if you're getting that round a canister, yeah, I'm not getting bruised, Liam. No, I'm getting opened up like a can of baked beans, mate. Don't worry about that. Okay, okay. Right? so. Well, so I'd need a, I think I need a few more stitches, but maybe that was on me. But you know, I was getting them on the way to the hospital when I was grassing him up. I mean, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> he let me know, I'm sure. Sanjay. Yeah, uh, so I'd say, folks out there, do you want more from Sanjay or whoever he is, or shall we just remove him? I, 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 I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys out there, but thank you, Sanjay. Right, I don't care, but listen, yeah, go, on, mate, go, on. yeah. Till it hurts. I hope to be in Pattaya end of September. Uh, ask Jason if he's in the bar most days, as he's going to pop in for a beer. He used to see you in Harry's Wine Bar in Teddington and also the Chelsea games. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be about, mate. I'll be about as simple as that. Unless I've got to go. I, I don't know. I could get a phone call any time to go home for the filming, for the film about me. But apart from that, yeah, I don't you know. Unless my mum takes a turn for the worst, bless her. But happy birthday to my mum tomorrow. Ah, right. fantastic. Is she yeah. all right? She all right? She's been low. She's never been all right. She's a proper crank. She's been low. She's, but I love her. Dad. She's one comical girl. Yeah, yeah, funny. But, yeah, it's, but, uh, yeah she's all right. Bless her. Yeah, she's got a bit, Happy got birthday a bit better to time, tomorrow. Man. Happy birthday tomorrow. Right. But, freeze. yeah, apart from yeah. that, apart from that, I'll be about them, yeah. Okay. Freezing Fury. Chelsea have a wonder kid in their youth setup called Yuri Natour. He's Ukrainian. Can you ask Jace, do you think the Premiership clubs should play more youth and should it be a rule enforced? So should, you know, should clubs make sure that they've got, you know, youth in there? Well, I don't know about whether it should be a rule enforced. I mean, because, you know, you're you're telling a you're telling someone how to do their job there. But, you know, if you think if the manager or the Team or the whoever think he's good enough to put in the in the team, mm-hmm. then put him in or in the squad even or whatever. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. you know, I've seen I've, we've seen other kids come through and, and haven't quite made the rank. You know what I mean? So yeah. you know, did you ever play football like to a good standard in terms of like could you have been a footballer? Listen, I played against certain players, right? Oh. Pre-season friendly and things, and but. Many people said to me, I could have played at a better level. I could have done this, that and the other and blow up. Let me tell you, when you play against people that are another level, mm. they absolutely mug you. They just run wings around you. You can't get the ball. can't get the ball. It's too great. <laughs> you, think, you, know, you think you're an all right football player or you can do this and do that and whatever. But let me tell you, I can't. Honestly, you 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 then realise that you know. I mean, I've played with some good players as well, and you know, I mean, I've played in some good teams, and we've done, you know, and we've won lots of things, and we've I've had good times, and I've played a lot, you know. I can live on my bit of memory, but I've got to tell you, Liam, honestly, yeah. when you play against certain certain players, yeah, they just they just they just run rings around you, mate. They're, you know, they're a different level. Yeah. You know, everyone can say about certain players, even now in the Premiership, or, or listen, I'll tell to be truthful. If there's a player playing in Division 4 and you'll get someone, oh, he's crap, he's crap. Listen, he's playing in Division 4, mate. He ain't crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I I asked Chelsea Noel last week, I don't think he understood the question, what was his favourite goal? Do you remember in your football career, what was the goal? No, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I know. You're talking about me personally or him personally, aren't you? Yes. 
I don't yeah. think Noel was a football player, Liam. Why would you ask him that question? <laughs> because, I don't know, he's, he's <laughs> yeah, Chelsea no. Noel. You'd think he might have played football, but I can tell you my best No, part. no, I actually, I know plenty of people that go to football and can't... And, can't kick a ball, won't kick a ball, haven't kicked a ball. Oh, really? Right, OK, OK. Well, uh, Ian, Ian, Liam, 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 we're not in a court of law, but can I just ask you a question? Because you've got 38 teams, remember? Yeah. Of course, yes, yes. Right. What standard did you play, Liam? Who did you play for? Do you know, I wasn't You didn't. (laughs) I wasn't (laughs) much. Yeah. Do you know my most embarrassing moment? (laughs) I'm going to reveal this on a football pitch. (laughs) <laughs> I was I was the fourth team substitute. They got me on. They put oh me on, my good god! Oh, they put me on the right wing. I was running down the right wing, and I noticed this bloke running next to me. And I thought I'll play it out to him, and then he can whip across him. He was the linesman, <laughs> so I passed to the linesman. <laughs> I wonder if people like this channel, mate. I mean, that is just. You know, I mean, I mean, the fourth team. So basically, what you're saying is, yes. when you was at school and I was picking a team, yes, you was last. You wasn't Absolutely. one of the first, was you? There was only four you teams, wasn't one of them. and I was the yeah, yeah. Team, I mean, you, you, you could have, you, you could have, should have, would have yeah. ended up in goal. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> fourth team, yeah, passed it to the. You didn't line. even make that. You made number four yeah. on the U boats yeah. and the sub. The look they gave me when I passed to the linesman. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, you know, what's the word? I'm affected. <laughs> okay, right, okay. But I did score an amazing scissors kick once. This guy, Kevin Clark, banged it over to me, and I was like, Dennis Law, bang, and he was in the back of the net. That was my best ever goal, so I remember that. A sad individual. Right, okay. Did you make it to number three, then? Did you make it to number no. three? Was your number no. three something? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. That was it. Right, what does PP9 mean in a sock? What does that mean? It's an old, it's an old, uh, it's an old battery for, for it's like the old radios, isn't it? Remember the old radios? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's, it's PP9. Yeah, it's a big, it's a big, yeah, it's a battery. Is that like a weapon as well? Is, is this is Mark Peruzzi? Yes, it's, well, well, it's just different to a tin of tuna, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. All oh, right. Right, we've only got two minutes on this. This is ridiculous. We've sailing through here. Disenfranchised. I wish we could all go back and stand on the terraces. And he also wishes that mobile phones had never been invented. What do you reckon? Would you want to go back on the terraces? Listen, terraces, that's where we grew up, mate. That's exactly right. And I know what he's talking about, the mobile phones, because people that are meant to be there for a reason and this that and the other more 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 interested in filming it and putting it on social media do you know what i mean yeah yeah absolutely absolutely so have you got any messages for your subscribers before we pass over to liam galvin channel which is me anything you no, want to say i just i just i just no i just like to um i must i must admit right i get so many people even over here and i get people People I didn't realise and this, that and the other, and people get hold of me through whatever, however they get hold of me. And they say they love our channel and this, that and the other, and they, it brightens their way up and they have a laugh and a joke. And listen, that's all we want to do is have a laugh yeah. and a joke and a bit of banter and a bit of fun. And like, you know, obviously, you know, they, they, the people have got hold of me say, oh, you've obviously known Liam a long time. You've had to piss out of each other. I said, listen, that's what it's about. We only want a bit of banter. We only want a bit of fun. So it's nice that, that with all the doom and gloom that is going on, that people recognise that this we're only having a bit of fun, Absolutely. having a laugh and a joke. And uh, I'm pleased, and I'm sure you are, Liam, that we are just bringing bringing them a little bit of light entertainment. Absolutely, you know, you know. I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're hardly more common wise, are we? You know no. what I mean? But I mean, no. let's have you know, <laughs> <laughs> little and large, maybe. I don't know. I could be the large. Which one do you reckon I am, Liam? That's a bit strong. There. Which one do you reckon I? Am? <laughs> I think I'm, uh, I don't know, who knows. Anyway, right, folks, switch over to the Liam Galvin channel. We've got loads more of this coming up, so we'll see you in a minute. Good stuff. Whoosh. Whoosh.